Form a network, the ECOWAS network of electoral commissions in 2008. So they've been there. The idea is that alone or individually they couldn't face the challenge involved in elections, logistics, and um, security and all that. So they, they came together to share experience and then um, pool resources and to be able to do a better job of, of it because election is um, a collective responsibility. So what has happened is that um, in the past two years, um, an elect, uh, steering committee or governing board was elected in 2017 in, in Kotunu, and then Professor Mahmoud uh, Yakub, the chair of uh, uh, INEC, the Independent Electoral Commission of Nigeria, was elected with uh, four other people plus the permanent secretary to run this um, uh, the activities of the network. So they looked at the election not as an event or a ritual, but as a process. Just like democracy, election is a process. And in this case, it involves three very important stages before, during, and after. And each of these stages has an impact on the outcome. But the mistake people make is that they concentrate on what happens on the day of the election. No. What this, uh, the activities covered in this book has done now is now to look at all these activities before ele an election, during an election, and after. To be able to analyze, look at the challenges. So there is needs assessment mission, for instance. And then there is a, what we call follow-up, um, uh, post-election follow-up missions. These are done to be able to identify challenges and then profile solutions and make sure the follow-up is to make sure that those things observed during an election that were, you know, impediments or challenges are addressed. And so this book captures all that and has now documented in Victoria from all the places, the countries, about 10 countries of the 15 that were covered and then um, to look at, meet with the stakeholders, government, non-state uh, non actors, political parties, the judiciary, the legislature, the media, and then uh, civil society. Everybody was met in all these countries, and to see what can be done to assist. It, 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 it led, these missions led to, for instance, to Econet making advocacy to, uh, on behalf of uh, electoral commissions in Liberia that led to uh, Nigeria giving them uh, logistic support, vehicles, boots, mm -hmm. and then motorcycles that, that would help them. And then when it happened that there were challenges with um, the electoral, uh, the, the voters list, okay? Econec, uh, uh, INEC through uh, Econec now sent uh, experts to Liberia after the first uh, round of presidential election and uh, the opposition said they were not going to take part in the runoff unless they cleaned up the register. This was what ECONEC did. ECONEC now sent, with the support of ECOWAS and then uh, UNDP, they sent technical experts to go and clean up, help clean up that uh, uh, register that enabled the um, uh, second round of election to hold, which uh, uh, now President uh, George Weah won. The same thing happened in, um, a similar thing happened in Guinea-Bissau. 
they were not going to hold the, the legislative election, which was to have been held in November, you know, in February of uh, 2019. But there was no register. They didn't have. So, um, Econeg also intervened for the Nigerian government to allow uh, INEC IT officials to send them 300 uh, registration kits and then send officials there, IT experts, to help them do the registration. So the election that was to have taken place in February 2019 eventually happened in April. But without all this intervention, you know, it will be difficult. And unless you go through this process, there's what they call electoral second, which I have detailed here before, pre-election, uh, during election and post-election. And this will um, impact on the outcome. So Econac has, uh, in this four, uh, two years, followed this cycle. Before an election is held, going to observe the election where they have support of ECOWAS being part of the observation team. And then after that, do a follow up to make sure that um, issues, there is no perfect election. What you have is uh, with the imperfections, it still remains one of the critical uh, ingredients or elements of uh, democracy. So, uh, and the, until another, uh, you know, strategy is found, it remains. Um, what it is, imperfect as it is, but um, it has to be uh, endured and followed. But it, you know, if it's followed through, because a badly run election, like uh, Professor Mahmoud would say, or Yakubu, is a recipe for disaster. But when you get an election right, credible, you can contribute. It can contribute to um, peace, stability, and then development of a country. Oh, excellent Okay, so do you, do you have recommendations? Yes, there are. In fact, it started the looked at the challenges. What that, sir? Um, okay, yes. Uh -huh. Now the challenges. It talks about the way forward. Now it talks about uh, recommendations about how you can fund Econet, how you can build capacities of um, uh, electoral, uh, uh, electoral management bodies. And then it talks about pooling of resources. It also talked about uh, political uh, inclusivity. That is getting a participation and representation of women, uh, youth, and then people with disability. And then it talked about harmonization of uh, electoral processes. Because now you have so many, a lot of uh, uh, laws that uh, electoral bodies have to deal with. To the point that at times they, they end up in court. But it, will, it is better that elections are settled through the ballot box instead of this. Uh, it is because they are not, but if uh, they are not uh, run properly, that is why they normally end up in, um, in courts. Is there anything you'd like to say about what observers think? Different well, observers have different yes. They, they have given the, the ECOWAS Commission, the EU, they did, but that is what INEC decided to do what you call review of what happened uh, during the elections. This idea is to now take on board some of these recommendations. They talked about logistic challenge, they talk operational challenge, they talk about vote buying, they talk about, you know, there is in fact uh, one terminology they now use is called uh, personalization of democracy. Or uh, what you call um, uh, capture, capture, state capture or capture of uh, institution, political institutions. So much so that people with uh, big pockets decide what uh, the result will be, even before you can, somebody can wake up and say, and this, determine who becomes a uh, governor, who becomes what. These are the dangers. So there's a lesson for everybody, lessons learned. In fact, Econet sent um, uh, a mission called the Peer Support and Peer Learning uh, Mission to help uh, uh, INEC in that. And in the process, um, like you said, Many observer missions, they have now made their recommendation. The issue is, can this be followed up? Not just in Nigeria, but across. The problem in some other places is that they keep making these recommendations that is no follow up. And that is what the Kenek is doing in what they call the uh, post-election follow-up uh, 
action, follow-up mission, to make sure to hold, normally recommendations are made to different uh, stakeholders, to government, to electoral uh, management bodies, to the media, uh, security uh, uh, agencies, in fact, all everybody involved, even, you know, so that if mistakes have been made, that the next time they can, they can get it right. So it is need, needful that it's not only making recommendations after election, you, you, you know, release a report, how those recommendations, how far do you go in implementing them? I believe that uh, if there is, um, you know, religious implementation, that um, uh, the next time, perhaps, uh, um, there will be an improvement because, like I said, there is no, you, like I said, there is no perfect election. All you can do is to make sure that you follow due process and then try and um, uh, in accordance with international best practices and standards. Because there are best practices, there are basics that you cannot, um, you can't, for instance, do an election without proper registration of voters or you know nomination and all that. So the regularity of the frequency of election is there, but there are other issues that uh, need to be taken into account.